Hello, amazing class. Uh, we're going to continue moving on. We just have our sine and cosine. Um, we just have our um, degree mode and radian mode. So now we're moving into actually putting this into the calculator, which everybody loves putting stuff in the calculator and all that great stuff. So we're going to do this now. And with it, we just talked about the, there's a degree mode and a radian mode. And we said if it's a degree mode, that means it has a degree symbol with the number. So if you look at each one of these here, for example, one, where we evaluate it, if you look at A, B, C, and D, cosine negative 45 degrees, sine negative 45 degrees, um, sine 270 degrees, and cosine negative 300 degrees, do we have degree mode here, or is this radian mode? Is there degree symbols or no degree symbols? Hopefully everybody's seeing it. Each one of these has a degree symbol on it. So therefore, we are dealing with degree mode. Okay, so it's degree mode. So when we do this in our calculator, we need to make sure we're in degree mode for it. So we go ahead and turn on our calculator, and don't worry about what's in there. Go fit it up. All right, so to make sure that we are in the right mode, and again, we're in degree mode because it's degrees, we hit the mode button. To mode and we go down until we see radian and degree radian and degree it all depends on what was the last thing put into your calculator or what was used but my calculator is in radian mode so I need to change mine to degree mode in order to be able to do this so let's change it over we do degree mode so we went over to degree to hit enter and it changed over to degree mode cool all right let's do second quit Get the second button and the quit button or the mode button and we're going to put this in exactly the way we see it the only thing we will do is take off the degree symbol because it's already in degree mode so we don't need a degree symbol so we're going to just do cosine negative using that um, the white negative button there at the bottom negative 45 and then close parentheses so it looks just like what we have right here. So bam, bam, same thing. Only thing we didn't have to do was degree. And we hit enter. And we get approximately, and it's a long decimal there. So we're going to approximate that three decimal places. So about 707. That's a, approximately what the value is. Okay, so let's do the rest of them really quickly. And we're going to fill those in. Again, three decimal places. Make sure you round correctly. So when we put them in, we should get those. Okay, so let's go to the next set and let's check out those and see if those are radians or degrees and then go from there. So here. Pulling all these in, and I'm going to pull it up in a few seconds so you can see it. All right, so we have those. And then the last one is sine 5 pi over 3. I'm going to pull that in a little bit closer so you can see it. Okay, so E, it's sine pi over 2. F is cosine negative 3 pi over 2. G is cosine 7 pi pi over 6 and h is sine 5 pi over 3 and with each one of these is there a degree mode here at all 
Nah, no degree mode. So each one of these just have a pi in it. So that should automatically let you know that you're dealing with radian mode. Because they have pi. Sorry, yeah, radian mode. I was right, yes. Radian mode. So with this, when we put this into the calculator, we're going to have to put it in radian mode. So with this, and again, put radian mode right there so you can see it. Okay. And so when we put this in here, we're going to have to change everything to radian mode. So again, we go to mode, just hit the mode button. And we're going to go down and highlight the radian. So we go down to radian and hit enter. And it changes it into radian mode. So now we're done with radians and we're in radian mode. Let's do second quit. And let's go ahead and put everything in here. So sine alpha y equals again. And here you literally, you will put in pi. It must put in pi, not 3.14, put in pi. So do not put 3.14 in for pi. You actually will put the symbol for pi. And if you need to see that, that was the second button. And just to do this really quickly, that is the second button and the carrots button right here. That gives you the pi symbol. And you must use the pi symbol. You can't just say 3.14 and divide by 2. That's not going to work. Make sure you do pi over 2 when it comes to this part. Because I still have people last year that did that and they didn't understand why the answers were wrong. So, sine pi over 2 equals 1. And again, make sure that you're using the pi button. Okay, so then let's do the next one. So, we do cosine half of y equals again. So, we get that fraction bar. I'm going to put a negative in front, and then 3 pi divided by 2. We get 0. And then do cosine, half y equals again, 7 pi over 6. Let me get this answer, and we're going to round three decimal places. So it's approximately, it's not exact here. And then we do sine, so sine, 5 pi over, um, 5 pi over 3. And we get this answer again. So that's the biggest part is make sure we put in the calculator correctly. And hopefully you're doing the, you were doing the calculator stuff with me so it's not just uh, watching Mr. Hall do it. All right, now the last part before we actually go into anything with graphing and the trig functions and everything, we need to make sure that you understand that we're not using these decimal values pretty much after this point. The decimal values that we have here, we're not using those decimal values. We actually need to use the fraction values. So, I'm going to put these down. Let's do this in green. And again, the decimals are the approximate ones. They're not the exact, the exact ones. That's just 0.5. We're putting these in a numerical order, in order from the smallest to biggest. And hopefully, if you've already dealt with trig functions or trig, you already know these values. We are, you already know th these things. Sorry, there should be a, there's a one on the end it's right here. If you already seen, you already seen these. Hopefully last year but if you did not it's okay again but with these we have the decimals but what you're going to be required to know is a fraction equivalent for this and the whole thing about it is you can't do math enter enter and get the fraction because it's not going to be the correct fraction so these are the things that you're going to have to know the equivalent fractions so for this negative 0.866 you're going to have to know that is the square root of 3 over 2. Negative square root of 3 over 2. 
but then negative 0.707 is a negative square root of 2 over 2. For a negative 0.5, you know that's negative 1 half. For 0, that stays 0. For one, uh, 0.5 is 1 half. For 0 0.707, that's square root of 2 over 2. And here, that 0.866 is square root of 3 over 2. And then 1 is just 1. So you're going to be required to know those fractions. Now, the only thing that's really going to be any, any problem, really, you already know negative 1. You know that 0 0.5 is a half, no matter if it's positive or, neg positive or negative. You know those are halves. You know 0 is 0. You know 1 is 1. The only ones you're going to have to really know and remember are these two. Those are the only ones that you're going to have to know. The square root of 3 over 2 and the square root of 2 over 2. Positive and negative. Those are the only ones. So if you know those, it's not going to be that bad. Because you know everything else. You already know how to change how those are in fraction form and decimal form. So that's not bad. All right, so that's all we're going to do when it comes to evaluating them. To make sure you know how to do the fractions and the decimals. And so here, let's go ahead and do this really quickly too. Let's go ahead and throw the fractions up here. So this is square root of 3 over 2. This one is also negative square root of 3 over 2. And when we put that up here, we're not doing the approximate sign simply because it's the, the square root of 3 over 2 and the square root of 2 over 2 are actually the long, complete long decimal that we abbreviated right here. So here, all the decimals need to be changed to that fraction. And then that's it. That's all she wrote.